Hello, and thanks for joining me. Let's look at some of the YouTube search results for the keyword atheism over the last week or so. Why I converted from atheism to Christianity via Richard Dawkins. Yeah, the God delusion only gave one argument for the non-existence of God, and it wasn't a great one. I mean, it's better than a lot of people think, but it, it still isn't great. I think if you'd been less of a Dawkins kind of atheist and more of a Michael Martin or Jordan Sobel kind of atheist, things might have gone differently. Atheism versus Christianity, which is more rational, Darth Dawkins. I think I've heard of this guy, actually. He likes to go around to atheist chat rooms, I think, and ask questions like, how do you know that logic exists, and how do you know that morals exist? Toast! You can't prove God, and he converted to Islam in the course of an 11-minute video. I'm not too well versed in Islamic apologetics, but it seems like that's a recurring thing. People on the streets converting to Islam right there on camera. Do they have, like, a really low bar for conversion or something? Merry Christmas, atheists. Why don't you happy holiday off a cliff for us? And he took an old cartoon of a Christian shooting up an abortion clinic and just reversed it. And glancing into his video, it's full of F-bombs and words like retard and libtard. Classic Christian love, in other words. Atheists are the art food dodger when it comes to evidence of God. And absolutely no evidence of God is mentioned either in the video or in the few comments I elicited from him, of which this is one. Overall, I wouldn't call it a very fateful meeting. Psalm 14, Does God Believe in Atheists? That's the psalm that says there isn't even one atheist that does any good, right? Would that not be a failed prediction, Reverend? Abolish Christmas Sokmas and its enemies? In case you think Beth Presswood is unaware of Sokmas, I have to say I'm unaware of Sokmas. What is that? Is it like Socialist Christmas? I, I guess the evil atheist conspiracy forgot to send me that particular newsletter. Atheists, so this one is addressed to me, you shouldn't celebrate a secular Christmas, you don't deserve it. I clicked on this one to find out why I don't deserve a secular Christmas, but when the guy opened his video by crossing himself and starting to pray, not in the closet, I might add, I kind of figured that the video wasn't addressed to me after all. Divide and conquer, I'm going to crush these atheists. I see this guy a lot, he, he loves making long videos. I have no idea if he actually says anything. The video that shook Satanists and atheists on TikTok. I'm an atheist, and I was not the least bit shaken by this video. Maybe I need to be on TikTok instead of YouTube? Something about their platform? I don't know. Atheist accidentally proves the existence of God? Basically, it's a guy driving through a lightning storm, and he says, God doesn't exist because watch, if God exists, let him send lightning right now, and then lightning strikes nearby while he's driving through a lightning storm. As I'm recording this, it's a beautiful snowy day outside with not a cloud in the sky, so let's try it here. If God exists, let him send lightning right now. Nope, nothing. Crowder and crew dissect the lazy absolutism of atheism? First of all, I thought atheists were all supposed to be nihilists or relativists or uh, whatever the stereotype is this week. Second, a hefty guy in front of a Soviet flag and a flaming inferno. That's about as subtle as a bulldozer. And third, is it just me or does this guy have a little bit of a Brock Lawley vibe? Think maybe I should check his video for plagiarism? The Most Honest Atheist with Sean McDowell. Didn't click on this one, but I predict that the most honest atheist is the atheist who agrees with McDowell's stereotypes about atheism. Yeah, that's convincing. And I think we'll call it there. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you want to share what you've seen this week in anti-atheism, leave a comment below. Thanks as always for watching. I'm David John Wilman, and the rest is up to you.